So you guys can decide whether or not the look's going to be guilty or not guilty. Y'all ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Red. 
Prosecutor's witnesses keep calling Mr. Wolf Big Bad Wolf. That is disrespectful and prejudiced. I knew it wasn't Grandma, and so he, I, I, I turned around and I ran, and he tried to grab me, but I got out of there. Oh, yeah? You're not as cute as you think you are, Missy. <laughs> Control your client. Yes, Your Honor. And he tried to trick me because he was all dressed up in my grandma's clothes, and he was laying in my grandma's bed. And and I saw him and I said, Grandma, your eyes are so big. And he said, Yeah, so I can see you better. And then I said, But Grandma, your teeth, your ears are so big. And he said, Yeah, so I can hear you better. And then I said, but Grandma, your teeth are so big. And he said, yeah, so I can eat you. And then I got up and ran and tried to get out of there. And he tried to grab me, but thank goodness. Again, trying to prejudice my client by calling him Big Bad Wolf. It is BB Wolf. Well, I'm going to sustain that objection. The jury will, the jury will disregard that outrageous statement made by the prosecutor. The defense calls BB Wolf. Oh, Please stay tuned. Phone name for the record, please. My name is Billy Bob Wolf, but my friends call me BB. The day you visited them, were they suffer were you suffering any allergies? Oh yes, I was miserable. <laughs> did the pigs' houses fall apart when you sneezed? Well, the first two did, but the third pig's house was made of bricks, so it stayed. Did you huff and puff on purpose to blow their houses down? No way, Jose, that's hogwash. <laughs> well, Mr. Wolf, we have not heard you sneeze once today, have you? Well, the courthouse is made of brick, not straw. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, do you see a chimney on that house? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you, in fact, go down that chimney? I did. <laughs> did you ever eat pig meat? Yes. This, the defense calls Granny Wolf. Raise your right hook. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guys? All right. Thank you. Please have a seat, Granny Wolf. Yes, sir. Stage your name, please. I'm Granny Wolf. <laughs> and Miss Granny Wolf, how would you describe your grandson, Baby Wolf? Billy Bob is sweet, caring, friendly, and especially loved by his cousins. His favorite food. Pork chops, pig's feet, bacon, and pork rinds. First little pig, come up here for a second. Granny Wolf, show, show Granny Wolf your pig's feet. Is that his favorite food? Well, not that one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, a terrible crime has been committed by this defendant. Two innocent little pigs. You saw them right over here. Two little innocent little pigs. Innocent little pigs. They are victims of property damage caused by the big bad wolf. You are hereby held in contempt, and you can pay me five hundred dollars for disobeying this court order later later today. Not right now. Yes, I will allow you, however, to finish your closing argument. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I apologize. The defense has argued that allergies <coughs> and sneezing caused his, the wolf to blow down these houses. Mm -hmm. But when he was up here, did you see him sneeze one time? No. He no, he didn't. He didn't sneeze one time. Ladies and gentlemen, it was not allergies. When asked if he threatened the little pigs, he's saying he would huff and puff and blow their houses down. He said, I didn't recall. I don't recall. But he didn't say he didn't do it. He didn't say he didn't do it. He said he did not recall. Not only that, he had been told he wasn't welcome there. They said, can I come in? He said, nope. Not by the hair on my chin, chin, chin. chin. You cannot. So when he went into that house, he not only 
broke and entered into the house, he trespassed in the house. And ladies and gentlemen, you get to decide, is he guilty or not guilty? I ask that you find him guilty. 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 I will ask that you find him guilty. I ask that you find him guilty of trespassing, breaking and entering, and property damage. Thank you. Thank you. The attorney for Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we have to keep an open mind here, okay? My client's innocent here. My client is Billy Bob Wolf. He is innocent of these charges. The prosecution's case is full of baloney. It's hogwash. What's more, these charges are a cover-up. They filed them to get out of their own charges of attempted murder. The first and second pigs saw their homes fall apart when Mr. Wolf sneezed because of his allergies. Their houses were made of strong sticks. Do you think that they would have ever passed the city of Greenville's rigorous inspection? No, they would not have. Pure and simple, their name calling is pure evil. What's more, these pigs had no witnesses who saw anything. Their only character witness, Little Red Riding Hood, admitted that she couldn't tell one wolf from the next, and that the prosecution told her what to say, and it was this, this wolf. If you're not 100% sure that Billy Bob Wolf huffed and puffed on purpose intentionally to blow their houses down, you must find him not guilty of intentional property damage. We're going to ask you to find him not guilty. He is the victim here. They called him names the whole time. They tried to cook him in their pot. They tried to eat him. And Mr. Wolf is simply a nice wolf who's trying to have a party and wants to have friends there. Yes. Find him not guilty. Thank you. You've heard all the evidence in this case. You've heard the arguments of the prosecutor and of Mr. Wolf's attorney. So now it's up to you, the jury, to decide whether Mr. Wolf, Billy Bob Wolf, is guilty of any or all of these charges. I'm going to excuse the jury.
All rise. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This honorable court being held in for the county of Pitt is now resumed as dispatch of business and adjourns court. Signing die. May God save the state and this honorable court. You may now leave with the court.